porous concrete is porous. That's the thing. Stormwater can go right through it. Porous concrete allows three to eight gallons of water per minute per square foot to pass through it. You can pour your water bottle on it. It goes right through. You can pour a bucket on it. You can dump an entire cement mixer full of water. Porous concrete needs three layers, about 12 inches of large crushed rock with 40% void space. This acts as a reservoir for stormwater. Then you add a filter layer, about one to two inches of smaller crushed aggregate. This makes a firm bed for the final surface layer, about four inches of porous concrete on top. The whole sandwich filters polluted runoff, which can then naturally, slowly percolate It's made just like regular concrete. Porous concrete has the same amount of gravel, but twice the amount of cement, no sand, and special little polypropylene fibers that weave through and lock it all together. It looks like a fuzzy teddy bear concrete. You need to work it quickly and not do anything to fill in the spaces. The void space needs to be about 20% for porous concrete to effectively infiltrate stormwater, like a rice cake or a sponge. That's compared to about 4% void space in conventional concrete. Aw, that's cute. A little bench pad. It's just soaking it. That was literally. Pour it faster. Pour it faster. Oh my god. Drake just lost all his water. You're gonna have to go. It's pretty much dry. Yeah. So you can really tell it's just it's like a bit. Oh wow, it is dry. Here's a whole sidewalk in a Kirkland cul-de-sac. A basketball court? At Valley View Middle School in the Snohomish School District, the whole bus lane and drop-off area is porous concrete. And now, our very own Fred Meyer just installed porous asphalt right there where the cars park, where little drops of oil drip from underneath the engine when you park your car and the engine is still warm. You know what this means, don't you? One, you should fix the leak in your car. Two, porous parking lots, roads, and sidewalks are a brilliant stormwater solution. The future is coming towards us as we experiment with these new technologies. In fact, we are conducting actual experiments with porous concrete. There's even a stormwater lab in Puyallup. The researchers at the Washington Stormwater Center have built special cells to isolate various conditions and test one variable at a time over many years and through lots of different stormy seasons, like big petri dishes of porous pavement. 